a quick announcement, the Sweet Softies merch shop is now open. There are gifts for crocheters, crafters, yarn addicts, mamas, and more. It's all designed by yours truly. Here's a sneak peek at some of the apparel in my shop. I have hoodies, tees, and more designs and pieces coming. I also have different items for crocheters like water bottles, caps, zipper tote bags, and canvas pouches. The link to my shop is in the description box below. Thank you! Hi friends! Today we are crocheting this adorable little froggy. This is called the Huggy Frog and I designed it to be a no-sew pattern so you'll be able to crochet him from um, start to finish without any sewing needed. The arms and legs are crocheted directly onto his cute little bean body and you'll love it because it's a very versatile pattern. You can use it with all types of yarn fibers and um, it looks especially plush and cute in velvet yarn. Today though, I am using this medium weight cotton yarn um, and I'm using this because it has good stitch definition so you can see how my stitches look and where um, my hook is going. So this is um, Hobby Friends 8 slash 8. And I'm also pairing that with a 2.75 millimeter crochet hook. If you're using super bulky yarn, you may go up some sizes like a 5 millimeter crochet hook. You will need some plastic safety eyes. I have here 9 millimeters for this frog. And if you're going with that uh, super bulky weight velvet yarn, I recommend 12 millimeter eyes. You'll also need a pair of scissors for this project and some stuffing to fill your frog up. All right, let's get started. We're gonna start off with the head and body. Use the main color yarn. I'm using green here. And we're gonna start with either the chain method or the magic ring method. So you could do a magic ring and insert eight single crochets into the ring. Or you can do the chain method here, which is starting with the slip knot, chain two, one and two, and then insert eight single crochets in the second chain from your hook. So here I'm going into the second chain and I'm going to insert eight single crochets. After crocheting those eight single crochets, you're going to start round two by increasing around. You're going to work into that first single crochet stitch and make an increase, meaning insert two single crochets in the same stitch. So here is one single crochet and two single crochets into that same stitch. And we're gonna increase all the way around so put two single crochets in each stitch around. That's my second repetition. Third repetition. Fourth repetition or fourth increase. Fifth increase here. Seventh, and eighth increase. Once you've got that done, you are done with round number two. You should have 16 stitches all the way around now. For round number three, all we're going to do is single crochet around. So insert one single crochet in each of those 16 stitches. 
I'm just going to use this little tail end as my marker for the start of my round. And we're going to single crochet all the way around. Now that I've single crocheted all the way around, I have finished round number three. For round number four, what you're going to do is single crochet five, and then you're gonna switch colors after. So we're gonna single crochet six in back loops only in yellow, and then switch back to green and single crochet five more. Let me show you what that'll look like. We're gonna start here with single crochet five in green. That's one, two, three, four, and five. And as you're switching colors, you want to uh, finish off your stitch with the next color. So here I'm going to start attaching yellow to the end of my first or my fifth stitch here. Just gonna pull through with the yellow yarn and in the yellow yarn, I'm going to single crochet six in back loops only. So here I'm going to go in that next stitch and I'm working in the back loop. Normally we'd work in both of those loops. You see how I'm going under two loops here, but here I'm going to go in the back loops only. This will create the little lip of your frog. So let me single crochet in the back loop and back loop, back loop again. Let's do three more in the back loop, in the back loop. So that's one, two, three, four, five, and here is six. And remember, we're gonna finish off with that green yarn because we're switching back to green. And then you're going to single crochet in regular loops now with the green and single crochet five. So we're going to do one, two, three, four, and five stitches to finish off round four. All right, take a look. You've got your little um, color change going on here. And let's continue with rounds five to round 10. Just as a note, um, I recommend, since we are switching colors for the next few rounds, do not cut your yarn yet. You can just kind of let it drape loosely and you'll see that um, it will be on the wrong side. You can see it hanging out on the wrong side of your amigurumi, but on the right side, it will look nice and pretty. So here's round five. And round five is going to be repeated all the way till round 10. It's going to be the exact same. So first you're gonna single crochet five in green. One, two, three, four, and five. Remember to switch to the yellow yarn when you're finishing off your last stitch of green. Then you're going to do six yellow stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I'm not going to crochet in back loops only for this round. We just crochet normally. Switch to green for that last stitch and do five green stitches. One, two, three, four, and five. And that concludes round number five. You're going to keep working the same way until you finish round 10. We're going to meet back after round 10 is complete. Here's our cute little frog body after round 10 is complete. As you can see, we have that belly going on here with the yellow yarn. And here is the lip 
with that back loop um, or the front loop that's unworked sticking out. We can go ahead and snip the yarn for the yellow color now. We won't be using that anymore. Just make sure you slip off um, enough of a tail. And now is a good time to attach those plastic safety eyes. So what you'll want to do is attach plastic safety eyes between rounds three and rounds four of the body. And you'll want to place the eye a stitch beside the color change in round four. So here's one, two, three, four. And here's where the color change starts. I'm going to go a stitch to the side. And that's, oops, stitch to the side. And that's where I'll attach my plastic safety eye. And when you attach the eyes, um, you can go ahead and look to see which size works best for your frog. If you're using plush yarn, you might want to use um, a larger size like 12 millimeters for the eye. I'm using medium weight yarn here and I am trying out some nine millimeter eyes. All right, finally got that stubborn eye in. <laughs> I guess my plastic safety eye was extra um, chubby there. The This one has a thinner end, so it's easier to poke in. Um, again, you're going to go between rounds three and four and just one stitch away from that color change. So I'm going to poke this one in and go ahead and attach those backings on your safety eyes. All right, here's my little guy with his eyes in. You can go ahead and stuff your frog now. If you're using plush yarn, you can stuff after the next round. Um, but with this thinner yarn, the hole will get too small. So I'm gonna go ahead and stuff first. Once you're ready to continue on with round number 11, all you're gonna do is just decrease around using green yarn. So here, I'm gonna go ahead and decrease by um, putting one single crochet over each stitch. And I'm using the invisible decrease method. You can do that or you can do something, or the regular decrease. Um, invisible decrease is go into the front loop of the next stitch and into the front loop of the stitch after yarn over, pull through both loops, and then make your single crochet like normal. So go in invisible decrease again by going into the next front loop and the one after. Yarn over, pull through both loops, yarn over, single crochet. Let's go ahead and repeat around. All right, once you have decreased all the way around, you can fasten off with a long yarn tail. Here I'm done with round number 11, and I'm not gonna close up the hole of my frog yet. I'm going to finish the arms and legs before I close up the hole. So now that you have the body ready, looks like such a cute little bean right now, um, you're going to go ahead and do the arms and the legs. Let's start off with the arms, and the arms are between rounds five and round six, just one stitch away from the body color. So here, let me count from the top. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so between round five and round six, you're going to insert your hook, and you're going to attach the main color yarn, which is green. The arms and legs all have the same directions, so it's just a matter of placement. Oops. 
My yarn split there. Sorry about that. All right, let's pull that through. There we go. Okay, so I did a chain to start. We're going to do um, eight chains total. So I did one chain and then now I'm going to do two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So now I've got eight chains extending from my frog's body. You're going to slip stitch in the second chain from the hook here. And then you're going to slip stitch into the next chain. After that, you're going to chain two. And then you're going to slip stitch in the second chain from your hook. And then slip stitch back into that same um, stitch where you started your chain two. Then we're going to slip stitch down the length of the arm. So go back down with one slip stitch in each chain. And when you get to the very end, you're just going to fasten off with a long yarn tail. And what you'll do is you're going to pull that into the body. And you can tie a knot um, with that very first yarn tail. Let's pull both in. So get that in. Oop, there we go. And then get this one in. All right, if you're able to, you can take the two yarn tails and just tie them in a knot to make sure your frog's um, tail, um, yarn tails are securely tied inside. Um, mine is okay like this. All right. Oops, let me get this. This yarn is getting a little loose here. Let me just pull that in. Okay. So there's his first little arm and you're going to do the exact same on the other side. Um, between The arms will go between rounds five to round six. And then you're going to copy the um, directions for the legs, which is between rounds 10 and rounds 11. And all of those um, limbs will just be one stitch away from the belly color. Let's meet back when all of those arms and legs are done. My little froggy now has all four limbs ready to go. At this point you can go ahead and um, sew up the bottom opening of your frog. What I like to do is just go into the front loops of each um, stitch and I do kind of a running stitch so I go um, in and then out the next front loop and then in and then out the next front loop. I'm going to keep my running stitch lax for now and just pull it closed together when I am all done going through all of these stitches. All right, so I just went all the way around. I want to make sure this yarn that's sticking out stays in. By the way, if your frog isn't well stuffed yet, you'll want to make sure to do the last bit of stuffing now before you cinch it up. And when you're ready, go ahead and pull and you'll see that hole close really nicely. So now we just weave in this last bit of the yarn end, the yarn tail, excuse me. 
and your frog key will be all done. If you want to add a keychain on your frog, now is a good time to as well. If you'd like to know where I got these key rings from, um, just check out the link in the description box. I got a nice set of 50 um, of these little key rings, and they were a really great price on Amazon. Totally happy with the quality. Once you are all done, you can snip off any of those remaining yarn tails. I just love how quick and easy this guy is, and you can make him um, in one sitting. You can try different types of yarn fibers. The plush yarn makes a much bigger frog, and if you make it with thinner yarns, you can create an even smaller one. So, hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Happy crocheting! Bye now!